I mentioned, this has all been renovated. It's a railroad-style apartment. Basically means you have to walk through one bedroom to get to the next. I thought it was built in the railroad ages when you're thinking of people building railroads, so... How old is this building? Probably built in the early 1900s. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, be oh! <laughs> there could have been murders here you don't know about, homicides. That's like the same thing, right? Does it echo in here? Hello? Yeah, yeah. so I can hear you have sex. I could... No. This is, it's now. Do you guys fuck? No. You really don't? No. <laughs> anyway, back to the break the ice. Ice. Just trying to break the ice. Victor and Elena claim that they don't have sex. I don't believe it. They're two good looking people and they're in the same business. So sometimes people mix business with pleasure. That's why Roger works with truck drivers. Because he fucks them? No, so he doesn't have to look at hot girls oh. all day. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Ew! Ew! Why are you so creepy? Oh, God. Jenny, oh, my God. <laughs> ew, 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 ew! He's scary. So far, house hunting is kind of a little stressful because we really haven't found anything perfect yet. Is this it? This is a garage. I'm thinking this is either like an old warehouse or a freaking firehouse. Either one, I mean, that's kind of weird. Like, who lives in a firehouse? Holy shit. This is huge. I didn't expect this. Well, you guys want to start from the bedrooms first? Sure. And work your ways back? It's not a baby bed. It's a normal bed. <laughs> Do we get to keep the bed? Oh, it smells like grandma's. There's two levels, like a loft room upstairs. Just like her stairs? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm loving this. I love this place. We're just... definitely a bachelorette pet. All right, so do you guys want me to leave you alone so you guys can discuss it and then see what you guys think? Sure. It's a little pressure just because we really want to find a house today. So it's kind of like we need to do this now, make a decision. So this to me is five star. This is definitely five star. Yeah, I love the openness. Like our bedrooms are identical and it's so cute. I'm kind of glad it's equal. And I'm the chief and you're the captain. We want this place. I'm ready. You? Well, um, I have something to tell you that um, I really wanted to tell you for like a while, but I just wanted to wait. I don't like that because anything can come out of that girl's mouth. So Gianni proposed, and I'm engaged. Hey, not. Yeah, I am. Hey, not. I swear. Like you I'm, I'm told engaged. Me. I didn't want to tell you because then I didn't want you to not want to move in with me. You waited? Yeah, because I, I want this moment to definitely happen. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone right now because I honestly thought that I would be the one engaged before anyone else. That's not real. Okay. Yeah, so. It's big. It's huge. I am like dumbfounded. I, so what the fuck, do, oh no, well, congratulations. Hold Thank on. Thank you. What the fuck does he say about this? Well, obviously we're not gonna get married, like, soon. We're gonna wait, you know? We're gonna be engaged for a couple years. I got the chills and I'm like really excited, but I'm like, oh my God, we're trying to get an apartment, but you're engaged to someone. Like, so many emotions are going around that I'm like speechless. You sure we wanna do this, being engaged? I thought I was gonna be the first one getting engaged. Yeah, well, he asked. He just wanted to? He kind of had a reason, um, and it's definitely gonna change your life, along with mine. Huh? So he pretty much asked me to get married and also because he, you know, we want to get married is because I'm pregnant. What do I say? I'm pregnant and engaged. Instead of life throwing me a curveball, it threw me a sperm ball. Obviously. So let's go sign this lease.